Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we've got a quick video for you on what is and what are Diamond Dynasty seasons and how will the wild card work this year? It's a lot different than 23. A lot of changes have been made. We're gonna cover it and make sure that you guys understand exactly how it works. But first, do me a favor as always, make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We may be right at 20K uh, when this video goes live. When I'm recording it, I think we're actually like 31 away. Uh, so by the time it goes live, we'll be close to it. If not, I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. Join me here this morning for the live stream, 10 a.m. Central. We playing some ranked again. We might be using some new cards. I might add some of those cards that came out yesterday to the squad. So we'll have to see. Uh, stay tuned. But let's go ahead and pop in here. We're going to show you guys uh, how exactly it's changed, what all's different, and uh, and we'll show you how you can actually find out if you ever get tripped up and need to know in the game. All right, you guys, so there's this little helpful menu inside the game, and you can find it right back where we were just a second ago uh, here in Diamond Dynasty. When you're on your main, squ main squad screen right here, the, the managed squad screen, uh, what you can do is you can go right up here to the very top. It says details on Season 1 eligible cards, Season 1 core, 71 days remaining. We've got 71 days left in Season 1, but when that's up, what are we all going to do, right? Well, you hit X right here, Details. It'll pop this up right here, and it's going to show you. So we're going to break it down and explain it right fast. Uh, Diamond Dynasty Season 1 obviously started here when the game launched. Every season that comes out, you're going to get this to start each season. So when Season 2 starts, you'll get this as well. You're going to get a Cornerstone uh, Captain Pack, all right? Uh, that's free, and you can go ahead and collect those. Uh, you can also collect all four of them, if you guys didn't know. Uh, if you remove them from all of your squads, make sure they're not on any of your squads. Okay, in inside of mini seasons, inside of events, inside of your managed squad screen in Diamond Dynasty. Make sure they're removed from all of those squads. And then you can actually go in and exchange these repeatedly over and over again. But each time you exchange one, you can actually collect it into the season one collection. It's allowed. You're allowed to do it. It's the only way to get these cards. So SDS has allowed you to be able to do that. You're not going to lose the cards. I mean, you do lose the card when you exchange it, obviously. But you exchange it for another one. Go into your packs. Go open it up. Uh, then you can choose one of the others. You can actually go ahead and collect it and then exchange it again. You can do it until you get all of them collected and then use the one that you want uh, or try them all out as well. So make sure to try them all out, see which ones work best for your squad. But you'll get one of these every time one of the seasons starts. All right. So what is and what are Diamond Dynasty seasons this year? All right. So season one is running from March 14th to June 7th. We know the dates on it already. Uh, I'm going to actually move over here to this other side so you guys can see. And I'm out of the way here. Uh, that one is season one cards and core cards. All right, when season two goes live on June 7th and runs until August 29th, that is only going to be season two cards. Last year, in last year's version of the game, you were able to use in season two uh, cards from season one and season two, and then you had a wild card. Well, you didn't need the wild card until season three. In this year in season two, you're going to need that wild card. Right, you're gonna be that, and you be able to use that wild card uh, because it's only cards from that season. So that uh, that power creep that we all loved so much this year, we get to start it all over. It's like getting a brand new game uh, in June. It's like getting a brand new game again in August. I kind of like that. I kind of like that, man. I'm enjoying the power creep uh, the way it's going right now. So. Uh, it was replacing the God Squad that became hard to do as the year went on uh, last year. Now, core cards will always be available in all of these, all right? Uh, and then we can assume Season 4 will start uh, November 22nd. That's the date that that one ends as well. So that we believe that's the final season that we're going to get in MLB The Show 24. I would expect that to be a forever type season where maybe you can use cards from all three seasons uh, previous um, very possibly. So that's that's what I would expect there. But uh, they all say on the top corner of the card what they are, season one or core or season two, season three, as we get going on. Whoops, I backed out. Let's go back over here. Now, we already know what the season one rewards are. These are the feature rewards in the program. This will change each time. But squad requirements. So uh, that's how it's going to work. You're going to have to have season one cards on those squads to make sure that your squad is eligible to play in certain game modes, okay? Uh, now, it's not every game mode. You guys know this. You know, that did this last year. It's, it's That's the same. Nothing's changed with that. Uh, events are always specific to certain types of cards anyway. So not necessarily specific to uh, seasons. Uh, it will be sometimes, but not always. Uh, mini seasons, particular mini seasons are uh, required for certain squads to be in there, right? If you want to get credit for certain things. And uh, that's why when you go into a mini season, maybe you go into the Team Affinity one and you're like, hey, why is so-and-so not there? Well, you can't use him because he's not available in team. He's not from Team Affinity. So you have to use the Team Affinity cards in there. Classic, you can use any cards at any time 
any seasons all combined together no wild cards necessary all that stuff so uh, you can always work on classic that way uh, and then ranked ranked of course will always be season uh, whatever the particular season is that's what you have to use and then br br is everything they're all thrown in there in one right so we all get this big jumble of cards and we get to use them all in there so it's nice uh now your wild card slots that has changed a lot here in MLB The Show 24. It's changed a lot. So season uh, season two is when they're gonna gonna be live here for us. You don't need it in season one because that's what all the cards are, right? They're either season one or core cards right now. Uh, but when season two goes live, you'll get a wild card slot. Now you'll be able to have, unlike last year where you could only have uh, one wild card. You can only have one wild card last year, right? I was I said two, but no one. You only have one. Uh, this year you'll be able to have four, up to four. Now we don't know how many we'll get in season two. You don't know, we don't know exactly how many we're going to have unlocked immediately. I believe you're going to have one unlocked immediately, okay? Uh, and then it says wildcard slots can be unlocked from the seasonal XP reward path, but will reset at the start of each season. So what's going to happen is as season two starts, you'll have that one available for you, all right? And then as you play through the season, you'll unlock in the XP reward path certain spots that'll give you an extra wild card, and then a third wild card, and then a fourth wild card. So by the time you get all the way through the season, you'll have earned your four wild card slots. You'll be able to use cards uh, to help you out. So getting through those XP paths is going to be very important to do it quickly so you can get as many wild cards as you can because some of those 99s from previous seasons that you have you know, saved up in your squad and in your inventory that you're gonna wanna put on those on those teams are gonna help you out, you know, especially as early as possible when there's not maybe for that particular season a lot of good cards out in the game. So. That's how it's going to work this year. That's how Diamond Dynasty and Seasons actually works. It's a little different. It's a lot different. It's actually a lot different than last year. Uh, you know, we didn't really like the structure last year. The majority of us in the community didn't. I know there are some people that did. So, you know, please, I, I understand there are some that did. Uh, it wasn't my favorite thing last year. Uh, I didn't mind it at the beginning, but as the year went on, I got less and less interested with it. This and the power creep feels completely different. It feels like a mixture of, of the best of both worlds. And I'm enjoying it. So I think that uh, it's positive going forward and I can't wait to see how it uh, plays out throughout the year. But I hope this video helps you guys out. Do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure to catch me this morning on the live stream at 10 a.m. Central and we will see you on the next video or this morning on the live stream. Thanks, everybody. Peace.